Hey everybody, how you doing today? I wanted to cover some uh, coins. Uh, this is a new release coin. Silver Honda had alerted me to this uh, new listing on a pre-sale right now. This is the Bird of Paradise. Uh, I, I think you guys remember from last year, we saw this coin here, um, which I always uh, mentioned that this is kind of like a robotic wing here. And I wasn't really all that thrilled about this coin, but a good amount of people liked it and bought it. Um, and I guess maybe they're collecting it and they still have them in stock. $27 right now. It's not like huge demand for it, but you know, let me see if there's, uh, there's 382 left. So there's a good amount left here. Uh, nothing to get too excited about, but uh, they do have a new one. So it looks like this. Um, this is the man. Manukodia, uh, Bird of Paradise. I don't know exactly what that means. Let me see. Let's read the, the fine print down below. If there's any information. Um, da, 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 bird of Paradise features the beautiful. Okay, so it's a bird. This bird is called the Manukodia. So what is the first one called? Let's see. Rifle Bird. Okay, so um, they're featuring different kind of birds uh, every year. Um, this one had the robotic wings, right? And this one has um, just a regular looking bird, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if I really would be into this coin. But right now you can get it on pre-sale for $23.15. Um, I'm not sure exactly when it ships out. It doesn't say here, right? So again, 50,000 mint is just like the original one, the first one. So I'll leave a link for this um, Bird of Paradise Manu Kodia. And a shout out to this guy here, Polo or Paolo. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Paolo Leo Cadio. I think he's a, a relatively new uh, commenter and possibly a subscriber of the Mr. V channel. And he uh, came across a couple of things. One of them was about Texas Precious Metals, and he thinks it's a really good site. So I'm going to cover them in a little bit. And he's also talking about some kind of um, Gainesville deal, so I'll cover that too. So let me go to Texas Precious Metals, which I knew about these these guys for a while. Um, look, they, they accept uh, Visa MasterCard, maybe back in the day when I first heard about them. Uh, maybe they only accepted like bank wire or check or something back in the day. Um, but now they accept the Visa card, MasterCard, like most bullion dealers do now. And let's take a look at, you know, some of their silver coins. It's usual. It's the usual stuff. They got their own round, like the Texas round. But then you get your buffalo. And they got this cool one here, the reverse proof buffalo. Um, maybe Provin had it too, but uh, they have it here. You got, you got your Philharmonic, you got your Maple Leaf, you got your Kangaroo, and they got their own rounds here. Um, looks like they're pretty much the same, right? And you have some Perth Mint stuff here, Silver Eagles, right? So um, I was like, all right, the reason why I didn't like them originally was because they were charging like a hefty amount in, in shipping, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, if that was the case, but that's what I recall, right? So I did a little digging on on their on their page, and it turns out I think, um, yeah, free shipping and insurance uh, exceeding one thousand dollars, right? So that's the thing. Um, if you're gonna buy less than that, I think there's gonna be you know some kind of shipping. So okay, so this is why um, I wasn't all that into these guys when when they said no. Uh, uh, You'd be charged shipping if it's under a thousand or back then I don't even think they gave an, uh, an offer for free shipping if it's over a thousand dollars, right? So, um, you know, is it a good place to buy only if you're buying bulk, right? But then again, if you're buying a lot of people going to need to buy bulk going forward because they are charging sales tax and, um, let's see here. They had something about sales tax on, on this site too. I, I got an email from them saying that um, they're going to be charging sales tax starting April 24th. So it's already the 26th. So they, they started charging and they had like a list of all the states and how much um, sales tax they're going to charge.
So I found the page, uh, sales tax rules on June 21st of 2018. This is when they voted, the Supreme Court voted on uh, this ruling about South Dakota versus Wayfair Inc., where the state argued it was losing out on local sales tax taxes with more and more cost consumers shopping online rather than brick and mortar stores. And I looked up the this um, the voting right on um, you know uh, who who voted in favor, who voted against, and I think it was a very close five to four in favor of a ruling in in favor of um, uh, South Dakota, I think. Um, or was it was it Wayfair Inc? I forget which one. Uh, um, I think it's South Dakota winning because they are the ones that wanted the sales tax to come into their state. So South Dakota won uh, five to four. The Supreme Court judges voted in favor of South Dakota only by one vote. So this is why we have uh, sales tax on bullion now, right? And so they have. Um, you know the rules and, and the the percentages that tell you uh, which states uh, charge and do not ch uh, charge sales tax. So I'll leave a link for this. Um, I don't know if it's the same. Uh, I think it's the same, but I think they they might depend a little bit on who sells it to. But um, these are the the rates of sales tax for bullion based on your state. So uh, let's take a look at California, right? And remember, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. That's a whooping <laughs> that's a lot of you know gold and silver you got to buy to avoid the seven and a half um uh percent sales tax right so i think that's the highest amount everybody else is almost a thousand dollars um let's see florida is five hundred dollars um but a lot there's a lot of no sales tax here too you know so that's pretty cool um Ohio, Oklahoma, yeah, these are no sales tax, you know, because some states, they just, they don't tax bullion, right, period. So that's why you get lucky. If you're living in these states, you don't have to worry about any of that. And this is the Gainesville uh, shop deals page. Um, it looks like they got some gold here. Um, I thought I saw more. I don't, I don't know where it went. I thought I saw a bunch of silver. Shop all deals. All right. Uh, here it is. Okay. So I don't know how you're supposed to navigate here, but um, this one I thought was kind of interesting because I never seen a half ounce coin for under ten dollars. Right. So clearance eight point five nine. Uh, but it's still, you know, if you if you add it, you know, you're gonna be paying like what, eight eight fifty, eight fifty, sixty, so sixteen. Yeah, you're paying seventeen something per ounce. So it's not like the best price, but you know, for a half ounce, that's kind of cool because usually half ounce is a lot more, right? Let's see the other ones: common date British King sovereign, gold eagle. Well. If you're going to buy a gold eagle, you know, just um, I'll leave a link for the listing that I, I, I posted earlier in the week. If it's still available, you know, you should be able to get that for a, ch a little bit cheaper, I think, because you can buy by credit card and free shipping. Gainesville will charge you uh, uh, shipping, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it's probably going to be like at least, you know, $16 if you, if you buy over, uh, I think it was like 200 something, you know, 200 something dollars so maybe it was 150 somewhere around there right so you have shop deals here uh anything else view or clearance this is the past deals let me see just one more oh this one sold out that's actually kind of cool the rembrandt portrait portrait of cornelius onslow sterling okay yeah they got some interesting silver here um but they're all sold out <laughs> okay oh well you know we had to you know get here earlier so just a couple of things that uh gainesville has been posting so i'll leave a link for this page too all right here's the gold eagle um uh sale that i was telling you about it's a pretty good price so i'll leave a link down below for this one and maybe for those who like the lion stacker rounds, it's a two ounce version, right? You stack them up on each other, three seventy nine ninety nine. Not the best price, you know. If you do the math, um, 
79.99 divided by, well, let's do times 0 0.98, right? 372 divided by 20. So 1861, yeah, it's not that great, but you know, if you're into these, I'll leave a link for this one too. So um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so uh, that's 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 a wrap up for today. And I don't have any information. I've been trying to get in touch with the Perth Mint regarding um, what was that coin? Um, the MU coin, right? And uh, I was wondering if the MU coin would have uh, another coin coming out, maybe a series or something, you know? So to be continued for that. I'm just waiting to hear back from the guy, all right? So thanks for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, please hit the subscribe and the bell icon notification. And if you are uh, if you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, you can leave them down below, and I'll try and get back to you guys. All right, see you in the next video.